Jumping back to uh, Feynman just for a second, um, he had a, a little bit of an ego. <laughs> and, yes. Well, do you think ego is powerful or dangerous in science? I think both, both, both. I think you have to have both arrogance and humility. You have to have the arrogance to say, I can do this. Nature is difficult. Nature is very, very hard. I'm smart enough. I can do it. I can win the battle with nature. On the other hand, I think you also have to have the humility to know that um, you're very likely to be wrong on any given occasion. Everything you're thinking could suddenly change. Young people can come along and say things you won't understand and you'll be lost and flabbergasted. Yeah. So I think it's a combination of both. You better recognize that you're very limited and you better be able to say to yourself, I'm not so limited that I can't win this battle with nature. It takes a special kind of um, person who uh, can manage both of those, I would say. And I would say there's echoes of that in your own work, a little bit of ego, a little bit of uh, outside of the box, humble thinking. Well, I hope so. <laughs> so was there a time where you you felt, you looked at yourself and asked, am I completely wrong about this? Oh, yeah. About, about the whole thing or about specific things? The whole no, thing? I, I, what do you mean? <laughs> Wait, which whole thing? Me and me and my ability to do this thing. Oh, those kinds of doubts. Those well, first of, of all, doubts. did you have yeah. those kinds of doubts? No, I had different kind of doubts. I came from a very working class background and I was uncomfortable in academia for, oh, for a long time. Um, but they weren't doubts about my ability or my, uh, they were just the discomfort of being in an environment that um, my family hadn't participated in, I knew nothing about as a young person. I didn't learn that there was such a thing called physics until I was almost 20 years old. Yeah. So I, uh, I did have certain kind of doubts, but not about my ability. I don't think I was too worried about whether I would succeed or not. I, I, never, I never felt this insecurity, am I ever gonna get a job? Mm. That, uh, that had never occurred to me that I wouldn't.